Well, good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. Today I want to talk about our obligation to pray. Our obligation to pray. Look what it says here in 1 Timothy chapter 2. It says, Therefore I exhort first of all that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made to for all men, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and reverence. For if this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of God. And then he goes on to say, there is, for there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. In other words, when we pray, we're asking the mediator, we're asking for Jesus Christ to come and influence those those in leaders in, in leadership that we may not like necessarily, but so that we have we have favor with them. We don't need to buy trouble. We don't need persecution. We don't need to be locked up and seen as rebellious people. We need to honor the position uh, that uh, God has has given to uh, to the presidents and vice president and so forth. Uh, it doesn't mean we respect them. It doesn't mean that we um, we endorse them. But what we want is God to influence them. And I believe you and I have an opportunity now to to pray in behalf of this of this um, of this president that's in office right now for God to change his heart, to change the direction of our of our uh, of of the cabinets and and people he's appointing and so forth. Right now, I'll tell you what, it's it's a scary proposition, but I'm so thankful that God is in control, that God knows all these things, and God can change the heart of a king. But you know, it's us complaining, us uh, putting pictures up there that malign his character or uh, accuse him, falsely accuse him of this or that, making jokes about this. This is not endearing believers to this man who holds position or those who follow him. What is Paul saying to Timothy? Now remember, as Paul writes this, Rome is in charge. And as bad as we may say that we, in some of the regimes that we've seen throughout history, Rome has got to be one at the top. I mean, as, as being the most wicked and vile and, and violent. And here, Paul is not saying that, hey, let's, let's uh, incite a, a coup and take uh, the king out. Let's pray that God takes the, uh, the king out. He doesn't say any of that. He says, you and I need to pray. You and I need to pray. Listen, the only avenue that we have right now that's going to change the heart of this, of this person that's in office and all the Senate and all the House and all, the, all that's going on right now is prayer. We can't do it by force. Uh, that's, that's unbiblical. Uh, you know, we, we can't do it that way. We have to pray. And that's enough to know that our God's in control. That God can do all things. Let me ask you this. Do you believe that he can? Do you believe that God is sovereign? Do you think that he's all-powerful and all-knowing? And uh, he can change the heart of a king if he wants to? Then put your prayers into action. Begin to pray for them. I have committed to pray for President Biden and uh, his, his vice president as much as I did for President Trump. Uh, because my faith is not in the man. It's in, in, it's in God Almighty. And as I think God moved President Trump, I'm going to pray that God will move Biden, maybe even in spite of himself. Maybe, maybe this is the opportunity for President Obama, uh, uh, Biden to, to get saved, to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't it be something if... If, uh, if, if God moved ad godly advisors around him to influence his decisions, that's what we want. We want a, a place where people get saved. We need to look at the eternal. Our hope is in nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. He is on the throne, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Let's seek him today. Let's make a commitment to pray for this president and 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 see what god does amen amen well this is pastor marvin osborne saying that god loves you and i love you as well and i'll talk to you soon